What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue working on the 2012 GMC Sierra. We do have a state inspector coming out later on today. But first, we do want to get the alignment done and the wheels dialed in. So without further ado, let's jump inside and head to good to go. All right guys, so we just made it to good to go. We're about to get these wheels dialed in and get the alignment over with. Check out this other project my brother's working on. It's sitting pretty, but not as tall as that bad boy. Let's see what the damage over here consists of. Oh man, that frame was worse than my brother's Silverado. Yeah, he's got one more on the rack. They're coming off right now. And we'll get these suckers dialed in. What's up, boss? What do you got going on? What's going on, man? Working on this old Ford. Nice. Man, that one over there's got a lot of frame damage, doesn't it? Oh, I bet yeah. he wasn't expecting that. What do you say? Let's get it on the alignment rack and get these wheels dialed in. Yeah, go ahead and pull it up. But. Boys, our alignment is out of whack. We're about to get it dialed in. Camber's not the issue. I'm wondering if we can get this toe fixed. We are off by a lot. Look at that, guys. Oh yeah, we got it. Check it out. Everything's in the room. Nice. 
except for that toe, but the toe is... Hopefully we can get that toe dialed in, but I guess you got a little room for adjustment here. You could be off by a few degrees and you'll still get an alignment done. Only at good to go though, nowhere else. Are you where you're at. Yeah, it's good to go guys. Check them out if you're in the Chattanooga area, if you need any tires, brakes, or anything like that. The boys here will hook you up. Make sure they're tight because you don't want that wheel going back once you, you know hitting them potholes and stuff and whatnot yes sir torque that bad boy down look at that guys boom on the money, on the money at good to go. Juan's doing an awesome job. Watch out, from over there. <laughs> I, I'm just in the way over here. Did you get it dialed in? Take a look at the screen there. Yeah, buddy. We on the money now. Print that bad boy off. We'll show the inspector. We'll show Pops about his framework. Because it was off, I did have to tweak it a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Hey, but at least it passed or got it dialed in. So now... Why'd you take that off? I was wanting to leave it. Alright guys, so we got the alignment done. All the wheels are in spec. Y'all be sure to check out Good To Go for all your tire needs, brakes work, or if you need an alignment. They're here in Chattanooga right off the boulevard. Now let's head back to the house. The state guy just left. He ended up fell in the truck. He's saying that the frame is still bent behind the left suspension, which there is a crunch point there. And he's saying that it's not replicating the passenger side. I asked him about the alignment and he said, yeah, sometimes it affects the caster and sometimes it doesn't, which to me doesn't seem like there's a major safety concern. Mind you, this is the same guy that's given us trouble in the past and he had the presumption to ask about the purple Ram 2500, which he failed because we painted it. I did sand the clear coat, but anyways, I know he's following his guidelines or whatever. But yeah, we're going to show you guys what he's talking about. And then we'll get this truck on the frame rack and hopefully get this resolved. Right here, we have our crumple zone. These are made to absorb some of the energy during a collision and keep you a little safer upon impact. Uh, but if you look up here, you can see how the frame rail is a little puckered out and it's not flat at the top. That's something that a little bit of heat, a few hammer hits while pulling on the front frame rail should come out. I don't see that being a major safety hazard. To me, it just seems like he's being extremely picky. Let me show you guys the passenger side. It's a little harder to see with the fender liner on, but yeah, I guess it's got a little less of an indention. Anyways, let's go ahead and move my purdy Jeep outside and get this thing on the rack.
guys, so that's gonna be a wrap for today. We did get the frame situation repaired and the truck is all back together. Of course, we're gonna have to do another alignment on the truck, but that's not even a big deal. And I did go ahead and schedule another appointment with the state guy. So hopefully he can make it out within a week or so because it does kind of suck. It's going to delay this build for a little bit, but it is what it is. Anyways, if you're new on the channel, be sure to subscribe and drop a like. It does help support the channel and give us a follow on Instagram at danny.tv. Drop your suggestions down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.